Hello dear friends. So let's learn about new topic here that is list inside list. Okay. So I already have created one list with me that is class 6. Okay. Uh, and uh, you know you can see here I have created one list inside the another list. You can see here this is the one list that is inside another list. Okay. So I have created one, two and three okay three lists are there if I ask you just suppose if I ask you that how many items are there in a list what will you answer to me uh, can you guess here what will you say what will you say okay I'll tell you that okay there are three lists or you can say three items in class 6 okay like so I will write here three list three list okay or you can say that three items okay fine clear so next is that now you will say this this is my 2d okay this is my 2d list fine 2d list fine uh, this is a kind of 2d list fine means list inside the list clear so let's see if I have to print this list what uh, what I have to write down simply I will write here print okay then my, uh, th my list name is class 6 fine then I will write down 0 okay if I will write down 0 here so what will happen here let's see okay control s 0 means let's see first output choose I'll create it again that is G okay then after that I will create another list that is H okay after that again I am creating my another list that is I okay fine then after that I have to close the bracket fine h i close the bracket again close the bracket now let's see what is happening is it printing the list or not let me check here clear okay guys so what is the meaning here if i will simply write down Mm, a b c one list this is my second list this is my third list so what is happening one is closed second is open okay now so now after that i have to print print okay what is to be printed let's check here class class six matrix I want I, I have to mention the index also okay clear so let's run and check the output here oh great okay now you can see this is the output it is showing me the first list okay so because the this list is at zeroth index okay and this is at one and this is at Two. If I will instead of writing 0 here, if I will write here 2, so then let's check what would be the output. You can see according to your input it is giving GHI as a output. Okay, now see it is printing the one list. Okay, if, uh, if we want uh, uh, the list okay uh, all the elements of the list or something else all the list we want then what we have to do we simply have to use the for loop okay we simply has to use the for loop here I will write down for okay or I will write down simple uh, uh, you know I will write here for sub list okay in class 6 okay fine so I am closing this after that I am writing here that print okay what is to be print sublist 
print sub list ok fine so if I will uh, simply run my list then what will happen here we need to check the answers ok let me comment it out fine ok so let's check what um, what will happen here run ok yes you can see here now the lists are with us ok like this one all these three fine clear so this is this is a simple for loop that I have run here ok what if I want all the elements from the list if I have to find out all the elements from the list ok so what will happen how to do that so let's check here uh, just suppose I am again using the for loop ok for I am writing here sublist in class 6 fine ok then enter I will write down for ok I will use i ok any integer so I am using i for i in sub list so this is the loop inside the loop ok clear then after that I will say print i now what will happen let me comment it out otherwise it will also run this one huh? what had happened ok great ok if now I will run this now what will happen here see when the first time loop will run ok this will run for three times fine when the uh, one letter will be printed then what will happen next time also it will run first time and it will run for three times fine so let's see and save the uh, save this file and let's see what is the output is coming over here accordingly okay okay now you can see I am getting all the elements here okay mm -hmm. I are where it is going A B C D E F G H I ok so every letter I am getting from the list E F G H I ok so this is how I can have the elements also from all the lists separately ok what if if you want to assess any particular element from particular list so it, in that case what will you do in that case what will you do so let's see that also ok let it let's do ok ok so for that case what we will do we will simply write down print ok then class find first list ok suppose this is my uh, first list ok and which element I have to find out suppose 1 ok so this done control s now what I am saying I want 0th list from 0th list which element I want first element so b is the first element this is that 0th place this is that 1 this is as 2 so let's run and see the output and find out uh -uh, let me clear the screen ok fine oh sorry so I, I forgot to write down 6 here ok control s fine and if I will run this you will get I easily got the output here that is B ok if you will change here you want from second list which element first element ok let's save and run and check the output here so you can see it is H H is the output desired output that we want it ok now I will tell you about type function type function ok although it is uh, not related to this but still uh, it is good to know ok that is type 
function okay means you you will come to know that what type of list you are using okay so what what we will do we will uh, just suppose if i am writing here simple s is equal to string just a minute string okay fine and after that i am saying print okay type type okay then after that s clear fine so control s and let's check the output here so it is telling us it is a type of string okay it is a kind of string so if we want to check the type of r on list so let's see print here i will simply write down class 6 control s it is telling us that it is a list it is a type of list so this is how you can find out the things okay so to uh, uh, today just now i told you about list inside the list okay how to you can easily find out the element from one particular list okay and how can you find out how can you use the for loop also to have the result to have all the list elements and you can have the all list uh, okay all together i hope the concept is clear to you okay still you have any doubt watch the video again and thank you